at the edge of your mind You don't know what it is Something you were hoping to find You're not sure what it is Then you hear the music And it all comes crystal clear Music does the talking Says the things you want to hear
hopes to shed light on missing and murdered indigenous women. Featured in a new exhibition that opens tonight, runs through Sunday at the Tecumseh Auditorium in the Ryerson University Student Center. They created the Shades of Our Sisters exhibit. According to the executive producer, the exhibit began as a thesis of eight Ryerson media students. They were tired of hearing about missing and murdered indigenous women as a statistic. Ryerson is um, given, Ryerson University has really been very generous to the families, um, very generous to the project. Um, the students um, have become family. Um, they have achieved the job that they set out to do. They have um, initialized change within this community. Um, they've given, I think, the general public a new awareness about how they're really affected by this, um, the tragedy of the missing and murdered.
scale of the crisis has been clear for years. Hundreds of indigenous women murdered or missing in Canada. A haunting national disgrace with no solution in sight. There is a new development, a CBC News online project to help propel the debate forward. The aim is to give faces and names to these women and girls, turning them from mere cases to individual lives, like Amber Elisa Tukaro, mother of an infant missing five years ago, age 20. Her remains found two years later. No arrest. starting to heal. It's, I've started, it took me a long time, like I kept it in the back of my mind for, oh gosh, I just started talking about her in 2013, but before that I, I kept, it in, kept it all in, hidden, let's say hidden.
Algonquin's Krista Big Canoe was a lawyer and advocate for justice for Aboriginal women who were murdered or missing. She says the solution is more complicated than violence prevention. This is about stereotypes, racism at play, discrimination. So we need to start reconceptualizing and valuing Indigenous women as a society. It should be a crisis when we see this level of loss of life. Sue Martin has lit this fire for her daughter, Terri Ann Dauphiné and the hundreds of other missing or murdered Indigenous women. Yes, I'm traumatized. Yes, I'm hurt. I'm not that, that mom I was 13 years ago. But I'm here. In 2002, her daughter was murdered in her home in Calgary. And although she said she was led to believe there would be a quick arrest, 13 years later, no one has been charged. I don't want another mother or another father to feel what we're feeling or siblings to feel what Terry's siblings are feeling. After a while they just become another person that they don't want to deal with anymore and that's pretty much the way it is with dealing with the police. I don't like doing it but this is my journey and this is my path and I'll keep on doing it this till the day I die and hopefully it'll be safer for my grandchildren and future generations. Shine! 
went out one night and never came home. I buried her six days later. I want other young girls, women, young gentlemen, young boys to hear my story. Like when you go out there, be vigilant. Doesn't matter who you're with, be very careful. I want them to hear my daughter's story. She was my girl. I love her, miss her. We all do. And I'm hoping by telling, telling her story that you guys will all get to know her. I think about all of the lost um, time that we, we would love to have had shared with her. She has um, opened my eyes to the issue of the missing and murdered. 
she has brought me to a place where the violence that women across the world and in this country and on our First Nations uh, are still suffering today. So she's opened my eyes to really the reality that that's still happening. Thank you so much to everyone for coming out tonight. So Shades of Our Sisters um, it was actually named by the families that are with us tonight. Um, this installation is a product of their strength, of their bravery, and of their love. I think a lot of people need to start speaking up and let other young ladies, and girls, boys, teenagers, whatever, listen to our stories and take heed to what they're hearing. I'm on my healing journey. Hopefully this story for her, her, all about her story, will help me in the end a little bit. I want them to know that Sonia was loved, and Sonia loved a human being, not a statistic. I want them to know that she had hopes and dreams that will never come to fruition. I want them to know our sister, and the many like her. Productions is a group of eight media production students here at Ryerson, working with two families, the Siwink family and the Carpenter family, to produce Shades of Our Sisters, an installation which will be opening on Ryerson campus February 17th, 2017. The project, when I join, it's an ongoing story about the missing and murdered Indigenous women, girls, two-spirited, and my daughter is included in that. Um, but it's a story, not about how she died, but how she lived.
once production wraps on Shades of Our Sisters, we will be taking all the footage, photos, and artifacts that we've accumulated over the last few months, and we will be combining them into an installation that will be held throughout February in Toronto and the home reserves of these two women. It's a gift, and I know it, so light and in a moment. So we were hoping to engage a conversation with teachers and their students and then after that we asked them simple questions like um, what has this woman in your life taught you or what are initiatives that you can take in your community to protect women and then they wrote their answers on this feather and then we actually got around 1500 feathers back and we hung them in our installation so it kind of created a conversation within the younger community. repeated calls for public inquiry to look at this issue, but an RCMP report last year didn't even identify the women. As of this morning, you can see their names and faces for yourself and read their stories on our website.
I'd like to show our sister as the person she is and what made her her.